super cute. I feel like that was a much better way to open a meeting than just like awkward silence and all of us staring at each other. Oh God, I just remembered these are recorded and posted. <laughs> yeah, so if you were dancing, that, YouTube. be on YouTube. Hope you guys know and are okay with that. <laughs> um, but we can go ahead and get started. Um, just a few administrative things. Um, if you want to do the Her Campus Nationals internship, please turn in that form by March 1st. Super low maintenance, super easy. Um, also, wait. Hi, everyone. So great to see you. Just, yeah, love seeing all your faces. Um, also, print team, for people who are on the print team, thank you for turning in your outlines. Your editors should have comments on them by the end of today, and I will comment on them at some point in the next few days. Do not know when that will be, but it will be at some point. Um, events, just a few events updates for you guys to have on your radar. Um, on uh, March 8th, which is International Women's Day, we are doing a collaborative event with She's the First and Rebel at AU, and we're hosting a speaker, Serena Nangia, um, at 8 p.m. to talk about the realities of different body types in the U.S. So um, hope you guys can come. Should be a super fun, super cool event. Um, you'll see more of that information on our social media pages to come. Also, just wanted to mention you guys are killing it with the content recently. Love all of the articles. So amazing. Really cool ideas, really cool pitches. So that's super exciting. Oh, also another event update. Um, we're doing a spring feast with Spoon because um, in the fall we usually do spring fest. So um, we're changing it up. Um, but it's basically like chopped where we gave Spoon five ingredients, they gave us five ingredients. And essentially we just have to make something relatively edible. I don't know if that's like a thing we'll be able to do. Um, our ingredients for Spoon were arugula, popcorn, candy corn, orange juice and dried mangoes. And then the ingredients they gave us were goat cheese, tofu, ramen seasoning packet, pretzel goldfish, and frozen mangoes. So I have no idea what to do with that. So keep that in your brain. That's gonna be on March 17th. So um, put that in your calendars because I'm actually really looking forward to that to see what everyone makes. Um, let's see. Before we go into Rider of the Week and level ups, Rudy, do you have anything or does anyone have anything? Oh, uh, the podcast just came out with a new episode of Miseducation. So go give it a listen. It was super good. I really liked it. Um, I have okay, so a quick um, March 13th, I think we're going to be doing a fitness class at 2 p.m. Um, via Zoom, of course. So if you are free, please log. Awesome. Got to get those gains. Anyways. Um, so our writer level ups this week, super exciting. A lot of people leveled up. Our bronze writers were, were our Isabella Iams, Kat McCann, Marissa Parisi, Hannah Richards, and Isabel Thompson. So snaps for you guys. Beautiful work. Love to see it. Silver writers were our Annie Berlin and Santa Mamtani. I don't think anyone's here, but snaps for you guys too. Um, and then our writer of the week. Um, it was really hard actually to for all of us to pick one because there was such good content this week. Um, but our writer of the week is August Barham for her article, Six Films by or Featuring Black Creators that should be nominated for Best Picture. Uh, so go give it a read. Uh, super awesome article. Um, yeah. So with all of that, we're just going to do a really quick uh, little mini writer's workshop for you guys, um, just to kind of remind everyone about just article writing tips and formatting and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, Rudy, did you want to share your screen? Sick. All right, can everyone see the, I'm dumb, hang on, sorry. Here we go, that's the one. Awesome. So we just kind of wanted to go over the basic article format. Um, if you guys have any questions, please at any point stop us. 
um, what your article will essentially look like is you're going to start out with an introduction or a lead. Um, there's a couple different types of leads that we use really often. One is informational, which is you go straight ahead with the most important information in the article, um, usually like a line or two, or it's anecdotal. So if you've interviewed someone that you really want to highlight, you can start off with a quote by them or something about their experience and then seg into the article and what it's about. Um, and then we have the meat of the article. So you have your nut graph, which is basically the graph with, if you had to pick one, which tells you exactly what the article is about, it would be that graph. So in that couple sentences, you're gonna talk about what essentially the article is about, what you're trying to cover, um, who you're interviewing, if you're interviewing someone, and then you have interviews, relevant information, and a conclusion. Um, and then AP style isn't mandatory by her campus, but we do highly recommend it. Um, it really does improve your writing and it's just an easier way to have a standardized method of writing across our website. I'm muted anyways. Okay, for opinion pieces, um, basically if you make a claim, you need evidence to support it, but if you have your opinion, I would advise to put your commentary um, after your evidence, like how you feel your emotions. Um, don't be afraid to do your research and credit all of your sources. Um, there's a good example. I feel that AU's treatment of Title IX investigations is unacceptable. This is demonstrated in how AU handled the case of example plus a source like hyperlinked source. Um, according to the Washington Post, the federal government had to get involved. So just make sure that there's credible information there from credible sources. All right, so we also, something that we do pretty often with her campus is campus QD articles or other profile articles. And here's our typical interview style. So it's who the person is and the question we ask and the answers that they give us. And we sort of just go in the same order for each question and answer. And generally we end with just a like one or two line conclusion. Uh, for your news and events articles an inverted pyramid is also welcome, meaning general claim evidence at the beginning and it just kind of the topics get smaller like a pyramid, inverted pyramid, if that makes any sense. Um, for events, try to find interesting pieces and then build your article around that. So when the editors send out pitches every week, we kind of just look in the news. I mean, this is what I do. I look in the news or I look on our nationals website to see what people are writing about right now and just kind of put your own little spin on it, your own perspective, make it interesting. Um, only cover national news if you have a campus slash DC angle to add. Uh, I don't agree with this, um, but if you do have cover national news. If you want to cover national news as one of your articles, um, it would be cool to have a DC angle on it. Um, but also if you want to write about it, then go ahead and write about it. You don't have to have a specific angle. Um, interviews are super key, go a long way, super great. If you're looking for um, how to format an interview, that is also on our MailChimp website where our member resources live. Um, or please feel free to ask me or Rudy or one of your editors. And then um, we do try to send as many uh, like press, press, virtual press pass events um, as possible. So um, make sure you keep your eye out in the Slack for those. Um, yeah. We also do listicles. Um, if you are ever interested in doing one, let your editor know or let one of us know or just get in touch with other writers that you would potentially want to do it with. Lots of options. Um, they also count towards writer levels, but what they basically do is, for instance, we recently, or I guess a while ago, wrote an article about, say, five best coffee shops in DC. And so you could contribute to that alongside other writers, um, whoever else is interested in writing that with you. And you can write your own list of articles as well, but just make sure they include an introduction, a conclusion paragraph, and two to three sentences per list item. Feature articles is basically just like everything that doesn't fit into the previous categories. It's really common, most what most people do. Basically, just be creative, write about what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about it, then your creativeness and good writing will just flow normally. So, yeah. 
um, writing do's and don'ts. So it's important to remember that her campus is not your personal blog. This is your chance to be a journalist, write about what's impactful to you. That doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to write about what's important to you. You most definitely can. Just as Hannah said earlier, make sure to support your evidence with facts. Um, so do write your write with your own experiences in mind with a strong voice. Um, you can use first person sparingly as long as it's still informative and write in full complete sentences, um, which includes listicles. Don't write like you would in a diary. There should always be a clear informative point to your article. Write something simply to praise something or vent. Um, always back up what you have to say with details and write bullet notes, write in bullet notes format. Um, even listicles should always be in complete sentences with descriptions to follow. Uh, and lastly, um, while we do not require you to write an AP style, we highly recommend it. It's just it's a really easy way to format all of your articles. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you have written an AP style before. If not for our campus, then for another class. Um, so if I, I'm not going to read this to you because you guys know what AP style is and how to use it. Um, and also just another small formatting tip for articles. At the bottom, we do require the sources one, two, three, four, and then hyperlink each number in accordance to the order of sources that go throughout your article. And then photos, just give credit to her campus media because um, they're really picky with the copyright stuff. So um, just make sure you put that at the bottom of your, of, of your articles. If you don't know what that looks like, there's information on, on the member resources website or just go look at literally any article that's on our website right now. Um, I think that's everything for the writer's workshop. Sweet. Yeah. Um, does anyone have anything, anything pending from, from anyone? Okay, awesome. Well, I know that um, it's getting to, to the middle of the semester and everyone's kind of like hitting a wall, myself included. So if you guys need anything from us or any support from us, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out um, at any time. Um, we're always here for you guys. Um, but if nobody has anything else, then I will bid you all a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. Go enjoy the semi-warm weather, even though it's supposed to rain this weekend. Anyways, love you guys.